Yeah, this is Bonjour. I'm still looking. <laughs> I'm looking for those uh, people, uh, the subscribers or the non subscribers, to email me their uh, video stories at joebunjo at gmail.com and uh, tell me your craziest story, uh, your nicest story, something that you did that was good for humanity, uh, a philanthrop, uh, you know, anything, any kind of story that's not normal and uh, that's interesting that people would like to hear and uh, let's get into my uh, my little psilocybin and uh, drug dealing tip video let's get it this is Bon Joe this is Bon Joe show this is not your show I tried it the 905 4G this is Bon Joe show Hey, this is Bonjour, and I'm out here at Chiovo with Miki. Look at her. But uh, I'm going to do this one solo because she has nothing to add to this because this is not her forte. This is my old forte. And I'm just trying to give you guys some uh, helpful hints and some tips about how to make money and have fun and do it safely. You know, um, nowadays, uh, psilocybin, psilocybin and uh, microdosing and uh, using these... Uh, uh, these pharmaceutical products like MDMA mushrooms are becoming more and more common and more and more uh, they're pushing you towards it because it's, it helps out like depression schizophrenia all these kind of things maybe but LSD could probably make you screwed up for life if you have a little schizophrenia and yeah but um, I'm here to tell you you know all them drug dealers all them pharma street pharmacists those guys out there making money for the family for food they ain't criminals and i heard in california right now they already decriminalized lots of uh drugs like cocaine heroin all that so you don't you're not a criminal now i heard i don't know and that's how it should be they should decriminalize all the drug products and let people do it to their own body if they want right um but uh you know when you have the bottom of the bag when you're selling these mushrooms i got the arsenal shades on it's a big game today and I think Donald Trump lost the election but uh which I'm sad about Joe Biden's gonna ruin the country uh, but anyways let's get back to the story um, <clears throat> I'm talking about uh, you know how you have the bottom of the bag when you sell mushrooms like big quantities I'm talking to the big boys or even the little boys if you have if you just go out and buy a couple of Z's of mushrooms why not right some sweet mushrooms uh, and you get those little crumbs you know what I mean it's like dust at the bottom well if you also have the MDMA plan and you go out and sell MDMA you also get these little little dust particles on the bottom of the bag and uh, don't like a lot of people don't want to buy that like nobody wants to buy the the bottom of the bag stuff per se so now you do you uh, grind that you grind those together and you usually have a big quantity of it right because especially if you're buying pounds and ounces and kilos of MDMA, always, no matter what, it's, it's destined to happen. Because when you break off a piece, it crumbles, right? That's just the way it works. So basically, you grab all that and you grab a little uh, benzo or inositol again. Um, and you go to, uh, if you're from Ontario area or wherever they have pharmaceutical products like uh we, we have a shopper's drug mart, it's called, where you can buy all your pharmaceutical, like, these little clear capsules, you'll see. They're like, uh, they come in a bag of a couple, like 10,000. They're cheap, very cheap. So you, you break them apart in the middle, they're for pills, like, to make your own. Because when some people have to mix their stuff and make, make their own pills at home and uh, measure it out and weigh it out. So that's basically what you do, you fill it all up with uh, your concoction, what you concocted together with uh, the MDMA part uh the mushroom dust and the benzo or the nazatol whatever and you compact it into these little pill forms and then you sell them for five ten bucks a hit and you make money and you go to the club or whatever and you sell them and you say oh this is a new thing and trust me people will love it and they never felt it takes 45 minutes to kick in usually uh so when people come back i remember this one guy ryan uh he knows who he is I sold him some and he, he thought he was a little gangster. It was at London Tap House. And he comes back all mad with his buddies. 
yeah i didn't uh i didn't uh i'm not feeling nothing i'm like it's only been 10 minutes man what did i say 45 minutes are you hard-headed so i see him in 45 minutes he's rattled because he thinks because all my friends show up so he thinks i'm gonna get him jumped so this guy is so high that he's hiding behind the two bouncers all night upstairs on the patio and london tap house in hamilton there's this rooftop patio and you go down the stairs to go through the building there's like four floors and he's hiding behind the two the two guys because he's super high off the the concoction i made with the part one uh mushroom dust part two mdma dust part three the the inositol and uh, part four is the capsule that holds it all together um yeah so he's so high and then uh I have my one buddy there, his name is Grappo. Uh, he does it too, right, for the first time. And uh, we have, he gets so high, this guy, he has to, we have to hold his hands through the club and he just goes up to girls and starts dancing on them, like shaking, like vibrating. He does the vibrator, you know, and this is like grinding on them and everybody's freaked out. So we have to like babysit this guy too. I mean, it's very potent. That's what happens when you don't think you're high and you take one and then you say, I'm, oh, I don't feel nothing. I'm. I must be immune to this, you'll say. And you take two. And at that point, you fucked up. Because you're gonna be high as shit. So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just be careful with it and always have fun. Remember, it's not about getting killed. It's about just feeling good, you know? That's why microdosing and psilocybin, like this, microdosing psilocybin is, uh, is popular because it helps you feel good and opens your mind. Don't take too much or OD. And that's the danger with some of these drugs is that people don't think about ODing. They think because they want to get high. But when you take too much, you've gone past that vanity point. Sometimes you can't come back. It's hard, you know. And then your night's ruined. Maybe your life. Who knows. Uh, but I'm still. But that's it. This is Bunjo. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share. And always comment, 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 comment.